Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, listen, I just really wanted to spend some time with you tonight. <laughs> That's all. I just wanted to spend some time with you tonight, you know. Um, I love you guys. I, I Let's check into your person, because I shuffled the deck, and this came out here. And on the bottom of the deck is the Magician card. Um, yeah, let's just go all out, man, and see what we get. Right, Cancer? Yeah. Anywho, Cancer, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? Um, but that's all right, okay? Don't fret. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force it into your world, okay? And um, Cancers, you know I love you, right? <laughs> I love spending time with you at the end of the night. So <clears throat> um, I feel like my throat has been closing up on me like all night. <clears throat> and I really feel like somebody wants to speak up, okay? They've got something that they want to say. Um, but yeah, anywho, Cancers, listen, thank you so much for all of your support. I love you so much. Thanks for the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. I just, I always have to thank you before we get started, right? Because <laughs> I love you. Um, all right, so Cancer, well, we start the reading here with somebody being up all night, thinking about you. Here we go again. All of those thoughts, they're keeping you up at night. I feel like, um, I feel like this is them really trying to communicate with you in your dreams. This is definitely at night. They, this person isn't sleeping. They could be like, this is sitting in bed crying right? Rolling around in a puddle of sweat, getting up, pacing the, floor, pacing the floors at 3 a.m., checking the fridge, you know, looking at this ugly bedspread. This is the ugly patterns of behavior, how they treated you. Now they realize that you were a blessing from the divine, right? Yeah, they're realizing this now. I feel like um, this is them wanting to change things around, but they're putting so much thought into this at night that I feel like um, it's kind of like we've gotten this before, communicating, right? Um, you may be dreaming about this person heavily. Um, what do they want to say? Uh, when I said it was over, I don't know what the F I was thinking, okay? That's really, yeah, and I need you in my life. What else does this person want to say? They want this beginning in love here with you. They want this so bad, you know? I can't believe I worked so hard to get you, and then I pushed you away. Yeah. Yeah, they want this. <clears throat> with you cancer this new beginning in love um what else can you show me about cancer's person what who yeah, this is either you or your person cancer you know you you guys are pros at this now just like reverse the roles if you have to right flip it around right um but yeah i i feel like they definitely are crying here this is a lot of emotion i always see this as a lot of tears a lot of emotion here over missing this this blessing in love. This is a gift. You were a gift. This love, this connection, it was a gift from the divine. A divine connection. A divine beginning in love here. And this person, they're beside themselves all night. I can't believe I worked so hard to get you and then I pushed you away. I need you in my life. When I said it was over, I don't know what the F I was thinking. Yeah, and that was on the bottom of the deck, too. This person needs to decide a path, and they know exactly what they want. They know with you, with this love here, um, that they could hold the world in the palm of their hands. They could, they could form their world and their life however they want. Um, I feel like there's some other individual here that's clingy, that's hanging on for dear life. It's bracketed to a wall. Um, so this person could be committed to someone else, but there, this is choosing a path here. And it looks like they've made a clear choice. Okay, that wanted to flip. 
and a lot of regret. What else can you show me? This person is in a lot of regret over turning their back on you. I feel like they, they chose um, someone else in a third party situation, maybe even this Queen of Wands. Um, I'm not sure yet. I need to confirm, you know, I need to clarify this one. But they turn their back on your on your love connection here, okay, for this third party. And when all was said and done, uh, there was no love wherever they chose. It was just blood and sand, right? And now this person is in a world of regret, a lot of regret. Look at this. Hanging their head, crying, hiding it. Um, covering up how they feel, right, with this cloak. Yeah, they turn their back on you, pushed you away, said it was over, and now they know uh, they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> they shouldn't have done that. Yeah, this is the, look, the divine. They want your forgiveness, number one. They wish they could have your forgiveness. Number And number two, this is a divine connection here. With the Hierophant and the Lovers, I feel like the Divine is making this person kind of feel this, right? They need to feel that pain of the loss of you, right? So they know how to appreciate you. This person also needs to make a decision in love. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Gemini. We've got two Virgo cards out here. Um, any water sign. I always see this as Virgo. Not No other reader does. It's just me, guys. Okay, just to let you know, no other reader sees this as a Virgo card. It's just me because he's wearing the same outfit. There's a V here, but I mean, it's it stands for five, but you know what I mean. Um, And then here's this Queen of Wands. What's this all about? This could be you, uh, t you know, turning a cheek to this situation, looking forward here uh, to better days. I feel like you're holding the sunflower. You're abundant. Uh, your yeah action this person wants to take action towards you I feel they're committed to somebody here but I feel like they may have they may have chosen a queen of wands um, somebody who's very sexy this can be considered the other person. It could be you, someone else. I don't know. I feel like this person's committed, but they want to be committed to you. Uh, I feel like you are in the Queen of Pentacles energy just because you are very self-sufficient, okay? You're handling everything on your own, and you're very um, financially abundant right now. Either way, uh, the Divine is telling this person it is time. Um, it is time to communicate here it's time to take some action yeah somebody was betrayed I, this was a stab in the back selfish act uh someone's being enlightened here uh, they had their i feel like this person i feel like this person was kind of duped i feel like they may have believed somebody who talked about you behind your back um, probably to squash competition here. This person, I feel like they believed them and followed somebody else straight out into the cold, a desperate situation, very poor health here. This person looks freaking mangled, right? <laughs> right? Um, I'm fi very financially burdened here very financially burdened. This could have even been like a sexual relationship. But I feel like this was sabotage, sabotage. Yeah, and that they're they're being enlightened to this. That their their happiness was taken away. I feel like yeah, look, cause you're their six of cups. Yeah, they're doing nothing but thinking about you, seeing the light, seeing that you know what, whatever was said about you was false. You would have never hurt this person. You would have never. You would. You only wanted to love them. You just gave them love and nurturing and kindness. You were always there for this person. That's how they remember you. Right? They know it. They can see it. I feel like the light's been shed on, on, 
on the con whatever this person I feel like somebody sabotaged this connection um, to get rid of the competition here your person chose someone else and they followed them straight into destitution um, you know like poverty and and bad health you know they don't really have anything right now I feel like this person just they don't have anything they could have lost their job they they're losing their health right but and they're just thinking about you definitely knowing that they made a really bad decision um not knowing how to fix it knowing that i mean it's all in this what they say right i can't believe i worked so hard to get you and then i pushed you away right i need you in my life when i said it was over i don't know what the f i was thinking yeah that's how this person's feeling. You know what? Speaking of feelings, let's let's go through the mixed emotions deck. What do you say? Yeah, I feel like this person chose someone else. We've got two queens out here. A queen of pentacles and a queen of wands. Put yourself wherever you want, okay? Um, you know, however it resonates with you, right, Cancer? But yeah, I feel like um, they see you as the person more than worthy of, of a commitment. Um, they see you as sitting in a queen. I feel like you're sitting in a throne where you are like the most financially stable queen in the deck. Okay. Grounded, stable, balanced. You can handle everything. I always say you can bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan. This could, you know, this could be both of you here, but th these, both of these cards could be you, right? Um, somebody who goes at, they're very passionate, right? Going after what you want, right? I kind of feel like that's somebody else's energy, though. I think that's who this person chose. And I, it may even be like a sexual, they could be a fire sign. It could be a sexual relationship, something like that. But you're the one I feel they should have committed to. They're very respectful of you now. They admire you for all that you've accomplished. Um, I feel like they, they see your energy here. And they know that um, you're following the guidance of the divine, right? They can see it. They're remembering how loving you were, how kind you were. This person's in a world of regret, man, I'm telling you. They're in a lot of regret. All right. Yeah, they see you as their match. And if they didn't have respect for you before, they certainly do now, Cancer. <laughs> they do now. What else? Thank you. Worried. Disgusted. Overwhelmed. This is how your person is feeling. Someone around them could be sick, but I, I always, I never feel that way. I feel like they're very troubled, uneasy. Well, this is this, right? Worried, disgusted, overwhelmed. Uh, I need you in my life, <laughs> you know? Disgusted with their own actions because it was, I, I feel like they're just, they know it was bad. It was just, they treated you so badly that they're having a hard time now approaching they treated you so badly that they're having a hard time approaching, okay? They broke your wing. Um, I feel like um, now they feel really bad for how they treated you, but they still they know. You know, I feel like this person is watching you, right, um, from around the corner, right? Um, they're watching you from a distance, Wanting to come forward, not knowing how, very shy and timid because they know that they broke you. They broke your wing. Only for you to build yourself back up. And they can clearly see it. Oh, okay. And they're very overwhelmed. I feel like this person is having a really hard time keeping things together in their own life. Okay. Like they're dropping the ball on, on a lot. They're losing money here, left and right, right? Um, nothing's going the way they want it to go. And it's 
seems like it's one thing right after the next, right? Um, but all they can think about is you. All they can think about is you, how they hurt you, how they made such a foolish mistake, and how they want you back, okay? And they're stressed out, tense, strained, under pressure, under pressure because they don't know how to fix this. They're disgusted with their own actions towards you and treatment, you know, and uh, they don't know how to come towards you to fix it. They're shy. It's frustrating them that they can't get the strength here to, to approach you. They could even still be with somebody else. Okay, what else can you show me? How is this person feeling? How is this person feeling? They're very emotional, crying, sad, uh, confused, not knowing what to do, right? A lot of regret. Yeah, they feel guilty, unfulfilled. They want to be free from a situation. I feel like they still are with someone else doing nothing but thinking about you. I feel like whatever situation that is, um, they're about to be freed from that too because wherever they are, they're completely unfulfilled right now, dissatisfied, incomplete. Um, there's a hole where their heart used to be, man. I feel like this person really misses you, and I feel like they really feel guilty. They, they blame themselves, and they feel completely at fault for how they treated you, what, what all happened, how they broke your wing. I think they're hoping that maybe you'll be compassionate with them so that they can approach you. Um, Cause here's the thing, they've got to, they've got to come towards you like with their tail between their legs. That's kind of what it feels like for this person and that stresses them out, okay? That stresses them out, but they, they know they're not gonna be fulfilled. They're not gonna be able to get this off of their mind here until, until they come forward and respectfully communicate. What else can you show me? How does this person feel about cancer? Yeah, cancer, you could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini. They may have a choice to make. Also, between a fire sign, maybe. Um, possible Gemini. Taurus, I mean, it could be anyone, okay? You'll know, if, I think, if this is your story, you'll probably feel it. I think you guys are, uh, they're trying to communicate with you, um, especially late at night, in the middle of the night. You, you're still having dreams of each other, I think, okay? All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, they're longing for you. This is too many cards, but um, they're yearning, yearning and longing for you. This person just misses you, you know. They can be like doing something completely mundane. This person is paying bills, you know, and they'll just kind of stop and think about you. They, they can't get you off of their mind. So during the day, they have moments where they literally kind of look like this, where they're staring out into space, remembering those happy times, okay? Um, letting it kind of wash over them, right? But at night, it's like they fall apart a little bit. Um, it's all of these thoughts in their head, uh, staring at their patterns of behavior, remembering all that they did to you, okay? Yeah. That's how I'm feeling about that one. All right, show me just one more card and then we'll... Oh, hold on just a second. That's my thought. Okay. What else can you show me? How does this person feel about cancer? 
I really just wanted to hang out with you for just a little bit tonight, Cancer. That's all. I don't really even know what to call this. I just like to hang out with you. Let's hang. Let's hang out. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this person, they know that they're, they pro they're probably going to have to make a home move or something like that. But I feel like they, in a way, they feel like they're not adequate for you. Like they don't have enough or something maybe they're not they're not strong enough right now to come forward i know that they're ill-equipped okay but they're not feeling so great and they're really really worried that you are going to get with someone else they do not want that to happen um i'm I, we've noticed in in a lot of readings cancer that you will have new you know she will be loved and she will be loved. So they, they know it's only a matter of time because you will be loved. You will. Um, and they're feeling very possessive, like you are theirs, that this person knows that, that they may need to make a quick home move, you know. Um, they may share a home with this person up here, whoever they're with, and um, they, but they may not have enough money. Remember, this person is financially burdened okay I feel like they're inspired to maybe even write you a letter or send you a text I feel like they're getting messages through music mainly uh, they want to be free this is what this person look it's the same dang bird see the bird they want to be free man and so yeah I feel like they're inspired maybe through music to write to you or something i think music lyrics they're hearing music and and lyrics in a whole new light now it says moved here i feel like they're getting major signs and synchronicities through music lyrics tv scenes movie scenes that kind of thing okay and um it's hitting this person really hard it's hitting them hard but they're still like they know they need to make a decision here they need to choose a path still feeling hesitant, still longing for you, okay? They need to do something. They need to take some kind of, some kind of action. Let's see what they have to say. I want to pull more, a couple more of these for you. What does this person have to say as we finish up here with Cancer? What does Cancer's person want to say? The sadness I feel for you is something I've never experienced before. Yeah. And they are really, um, really sad here. Very emotional, right? Can't stop thinking about you. I'm telling you, longing for you, longing for you, and completely unfulfilled. The sadness I feel for you is something I've never experienced before. What else does this person want to say to Cancer? You are so easy to talk to. They miss that. They miss the conversations between you two. The I feel like there was some kind of equal equality, something it was easy, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, duh. You are so easy to talk to. I think it was just, it was easy for both of you, I guess is what I want to say. All right. They missed that. I don't know why I didn't learn the first time because I really don't want to be without you. Yeah, Cancer. Oh. So many times I had the phone in my hand ready re ready to reach out to you. Yeah, and I think that is true. I think they, they, um, they've reread your text messages, you know. Uh, they've uh, looked at your photos. They've uh, watched you on Facebook and whatever social media accounts you have. They've, um, they've probably typed text messages that were never sent. Um, maybe written letters that were never mailed, okay? Yeah, but yet you're very easy to talk to. It's just that it's hard to get back into that inner circle where they can 
where they can express themselves you know this person's going through it cancer let's just say that they're just they're just going through it okay anyway cancers listen i love you guys i just wanted to spend some time with you um i hope this helps i hope it resonates if you guys like this video please click that like button right give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet if you like this vibe and it's resonating and yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet, right? Oh, yeah, and you know what I was thinking? <laughs> the, if you subscribe to the channel and you're new here, if you subscribe, you will be a moony, <laughs> right? No, you guys, you didn't think that was at all cute, right? Not a goony, but a, a moony, right? Andy, you moony. No. All right, well, hey, that's my dorkiness, right? If you like that, go ahead and subscribe. Become a Mooney. I love you guys. Listen, take care of you cancers and peace out.